the stench was unbearable. I thought I had like something on my shoe. I was like, he like, calm down, gain your composure. My grandfather already knew what was going on, but he just let me see for myself. So when I saw her, we was there, we gave him minerals. You know, the man was so weak, he couldn't sit up. We laid him down. My grandfather cooked, did all this stuff for him. Then we was leaving. We was there for hours. So I said, Grandpa, we got in a car. I said, Grandpa, what did he have? He said, that's what HIV. That's what, excuse me, that's what HIV looked like. I was like, wow, I never want that. So time went on. I, I was 17. I, was, I had school and stuff. My grandfather left, went to Honduras, came back. It, like six months went by or something like that. Yeah. And then my birthday was rolling back around. Like it was like two months before my birthday. It was like February. So my birthday is in April. We go to the gentleman's house. This man couldn't even get out the bed. Couldn't even sit up as fast as that. He tried to sit up. He was <laughs> panting because his central nervous system shut down. The lymphatic system shut down. Once those two shut down, that's it. So he was weak, very weak. I'm looking like, wow. I'm standing at the door because I'm scared. I don't know what, what what he had. I'm like, what? I don't. I never seen this before. Um. So. Uh, that day, we take a ride. I'm like, oh, where are we going to that gentleman house? He's like, yeah. He said he had he he wanted to see me. I said, okay, I'll go with you. So I want to see again his progress. Now I want to see the progress. I want to see this man After was you in traumatized the traumatized yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I, the, the odor was unbearable. Seeing him couldn't sit up. It was a lot. He was weak, he was skinny. Everything, it was, it was very bad. So to see the progress, that's, I couldn't wait to see it. This man met us at his gate where his security was. This time he's at the gate waving, hi, Sabi, <laughs> holding his papers. Sabi, you healed me. My mouth dropped. We look at his paperwork. He had a bag of money. I wanted to give my, my grandfather the money. My grandfather, said, my grandfather said, no, it's about healing you. You know, I'm like, wow, like. I'm stoked because this man couldn't get out the bed. His weight is up. He he looked healthy. Then the fact that he was HIV positive and don't have it anymore. Come on. It was like, that's what I told my grandfather. You're incredible, grandpa. That was like the moment where I said, you the man. Like, truly, like, I actually saw it for myself. Right. But, like, seeing cancer, him heal cancer is, I see that all the time, you know, um, I know y'all be the stories are crazy. You know, know brain I tumors. I see that all the time. time. So yeah, like what's like some of the stories that really resonate with you that you're like? Because are you like trying to heal people after you see this? Like at what point are you like I want to help people? Because like, um, it's one thing to heal yourself, but then you want to help everyone else. What made me really get involved with with healing?